Good morning Tricolor, I am Tommaso and you are watching Tricolor News. Today is the 5th of November, it is cloudy outside and it's 20 degrees. We are in the center of Tricala, right in front of Tsitsani Museum, where a group of 20 participants from 8 different European countries is learning about the use of digital media in youth work. But now, they are working inside this building. Come with me. This is the fourth day of Remote Control Digital Youth Work project. In this session, the participants are working on a YouTube project. And I'm here with one of the participants. And hi, can I ask you, what's your name? Hi, my name is Andrea. And can you share with us why are you here in Tikala? Uh, I'm here because I want to learn uh, new. Uh, I, I want to learn uh, more stuff about social media marketing and uh, share my knowledge to all of you about video promotion. Thank you. And what are you doing today, like right now? Right now, I'm <laughs> in this interview, and I also take my uh, shots for my video. Okay, thank you. It was a pleasure talking with you. So back outside, we are here with Britza, one of the trainers and organizers of this project, and we are here to ask her some questions. So, Britza, can you tell us more about the activities of this project? What brought eight, what brought people from eight different countries here in Tricola? Uh, hello, hello everyone from me. Uh, hi, I'm Britza, as the uh, Tomaso here uh, said. Uh, we are organizing this project in order to provide uh, digital tools for youth workers. Um, especially in this first part of the project, um, we are focusing on uh, digital marketing, social media marketing and how to use uh, internet technology and so on to promote our organizations, reach out for more uh, volunteers and um, make it easier for the organizations that are included from the eight different countries uh, as you already mentioned uh, to improve their skills and um, use all these tools in their local communities not only to reach the people from their cities but broader band of people maybe that are not uh, so easy to be approached because they live in uh, remote areas or disadvantaged uh, areas maybe and they do not have the same uh, access and the same uh, means and um, that's it I think more in action <laughs> thank you so much Rita